Hello everybody, Martin here and today I will show you how we can easily model a tree in Maya. So this tree we are going to make is uh, mainly for use in something like a game or in the background of a movie. So you can see that it's quite low res and uh, if you come up close you can really see that it's not really looking like a tree. Um, so mainly for games and background shots but it's very easy to, uh, to make and uh, it's something that you really should be aware of of how to make. So this is the finished product. Um, the one we are going to make may uh, look a little bit different but this is the basic the basic thing that we are going for. So let me hide this and let's get started. So I'm going to start with by creating a polygon cylinder and it's quite high res right now so we can take the subdivisions down to something like 8 and let's bump the height up um, something like 60 looks good and let's add a few subdivisions on the height um, 5 looks good and now we can take the vertices and move them around a bit so we get some breakups in a tree which will make it look more natural nothing nothing fancy okay so we have our basic stem right here um, what we're going to do now is to make it a little bit thinner at the top um, because that's how trees look in the real world so let's select our stem right here go up to our animation menu and create a deformer and a lattice let's open up the options and we're going to go with two subdivisions in each direction so let's hit create and right click go to lattice point select the top ones and scale them down a bit that looks good and now we can take our stem right here and go to edit, delete by type, history okay so we have our stem ready here so we can add a texture to this and by going to assign new material take a Lambert and in our color node we select a file and I have a bark texture right here uh, I, got, I got all my textures from uh, cgtextures.com very nice web website with a lot of textures so visit that if you are interested let's select this bark one and click open and now you can see that the texture is very uh, very stretched out in one way so to fix this let's go to our uh, connection here let's go to the place to the texture and in our repeat U and V we can leave the U in 1 and let's take the V to uh, let's try 10 maybe that looks a lot better okay so it looks very very sharp the corners here so to fix this select our stem go back to our 
polygons menu set and soften our normals looks good okay let's just um, delete our history and let's call this um, tree stem zero one okay so our stem is ready let's just move it up a bit so the base is at the grid like that okay so now we are going to do some branches that sticks out of the tree um, so a very simple way to do this is just by selecting our stem and duplicate it by hitting ctrl D and now we can see that we have a branch we can scale this down and here's a neat little trick we can do if we move our pivot by holding down the D key and the V key to snap it to a vert vertex at the bottom like that and if we take the stem here and press this button here, the magnet um, make the selected object live you can see that it turns into this green color now if we take this and move this you can see that it, it is actually sticking to the main stem very useful um, now we can take this and just rotate it a bit and we can duplicate it rotate it and repeat this process a couple of times and we can take a couple of them and scale them down so we get some uh, variation and as you can see the textures are coming along nicely uh, let's take one more right here okay so that looks very good um, now what we can do is press the magnet once again and now we can select all the branches and the stem and just go to mesh combine and we get one single piece of geometry um, now when now when we have our stem and we have our branches it's time to create the leaves so to do this we will need a polygon plane like that and we need to add a leaf texture to this so let's assign a new material and let's go with the Lambert in the color node and select our leaf texture uh, I got this from CD textures as well okay very nice uh, so what we can do now is if we go into our inputs here and go to the subdivisions height and width we can take this up to a higher number and what we can do now is that we can create some variation in the leaves by moving some vertices so 
So let's just take and move these around a bit. Okay. Very nice. Now let's take our pivot and move it. So that we can snap it to the vertex here. And then we can move it to our branch base here. Let's actually move down a bit like that. And let me just name it tree leaves zero one. And maybe scale it down a bit. So now if we take our tree base here and make it light once again and take our leaf texture we can place it uh, directly on the branches like that so now it's just a matter of duplicating this move it a bit, rotate it Like that, create some variation, and we get a very nice result. So, as I said, it's just a matter of uh, repeating this process, uh, creating some variation. So I will do the rest of the tree uh, of camera, but it's just a matter of duplicating, move it around, rotate it, creating some variation, and you will be fine. Okay guys, so now I have duplicated the leaves a couple of more times. Of course you can do this as dense as you want. And you can also add some variation amongst the leaves by, um, by moving a couple of more vertices, duplicating those leaves a couple of times, and uh, maybe to scale some create some nice variation so yeah now we have a good looking tree ready to use in our game or our uh, film so yeah uh, thanks for watching uh, this quick tutorial um, to model a very easy tree and uh, I see you next time. Bye!